everybody welcome back to another youtube video today's video is essentially going to be a birthday vlog because it is my birthday on sunday and i'm turning 27 which is absolutely crazy to me i just don't know where the time has gone i guess most of my life i just thought that i would be young forever and then the years started flying by and especially after college it's just i feel like they've gone even faster and apparently they're going to be getting even faster so yeah it's crazy i am in my late 20s i am inching closer and closer to 30. the crazy thing to me is that i've been out of college for 15 16 17, for four years and that time has felt like i feel like i was just in college and in less than four years i will be turning 30. so just like thinking about that time like doubled like happening again it's just it's absolutely crazy i can't believe that i am at this point in my life but so let's sit down and talk for a second so for today's video i today's friday my birthday is on sunday so normally i would be at work right now because as you guys know i have a nine to five I took the day off because I just wanted to take a day off. I never really take days off from work ever. Like the only times that I take off are if I'm going on vacation, which doesn't happen that often, maybe like once a year. And then if I'm like absolutely sick. So sometimes it is great to just take a personal day and I'm really gonna use this day to just kind of reflect on where I am now in my life, where I want to be, and the the woman that I'm trying to become, basically. And so today is just going to be taking a day to myself. <sighs> just to like tell you guys some of the things that I'm kind of trying to work on is just one, being someone who, just I guess kind of being less selfish and thinking less about myself and what I want and and being kind of just this like sort of materialistic, selfish kind of 20 something year old girl where I do make a lot of like fashion and beauty videos because I do think that those are very fun and I think that we all need just like a moment to switch off and just watch something completely mindless and just something that's like satisfying and fun that we like. But also I have realized recently as, especially since I've lived in New York is a lot of the people around me not even just like my coworkers that are older than me people that I've met here but like people my own age I feel like are just more well-rounded than I am in terms of just thinking outside of their own little bubble so they're reading the news they're they have opinions on important topics they're in the know about things and I feel like they focused a lot on their studies and being educated and while I did those things as well, I feel like I, in some sort of a sense, had this mindset about college that it was a little bit of a fun kind of a party in a way and I really had wished that I had focused more and it's not to say that I didn't. I was like a straight A student in high school. I got into the best possible college that I could have from the resources that were available to me. Um, but yeah, so normally on a day like today, I would think, okay, I'm going to take a day to myself. I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going to go shopping. To be honest, I really need to save money. <laughs> I feel like that's something that maybe you guys can relate to, um, or maybe some of you. So I'm not going to be doing this frivolous day. Instead, I want to go to the Met, go to a museum, read up on history. So yeah, so this morning so far, I just woke up. I drank a full glass of water. I just kind of like tried to live my life as I kind of like almost like fantasize about it being if I didn't have to go to work in the morning so I like made myself some hot water with lemon and I drank that while I watched a quick YouTube video <laughs> and then I and then I think yeah and then I showered I just did my makeup really quick my hair is just drying still it's like wet and I'm just gonna make some quick breakfast I think I'm gonna make some oatmeal with some cacao powder and almond milk and bananas and maybe a matcha latte if I have the ingredients so 
yeah, just kind of treating myself a little bit. Normally, if on a normal Friday, I would have run out, ran out the door without breakfast, maybe have grabbed a banana if I was being good, and then just would have regrettably bought something at one of the little uh, shops on the way to work. So it's nice, it's a nice treat to make breakfast for myself. So I'm going to do that and also just take you guys on like a little vlog of my day, my day to myself. And this is also just kind of like, I've always wanted to make a video of this, of just how to spend a day by yourself in New York City. If you're someone who lives here and you just totally want to take a day to yourself or if you're visiting here and you're traveling alone, just things that you can do alone in New York City. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys my day. guys so I made my breakfast I ate my oatmeal I'm just drinking my matcha latte so now I am just signing into the Wall Street Journal because like I said I want to read the news and be more in the know and you know be more worldly and well-spoken so yes I am signing in I am going to read a few articles before I do anything today this is something that I could do, you know, like if I get into work early, I've started doing that, or like on my phone, on the commute, just like any pockets of time. There are so many times throughout the day where you're just standing there trying to kill time that you don't even kind of realize, and you're just kind of like, oh, how, how much longer is it until the train comes? You know, maybe you're sitting in the car, whatever it is. Uh, these are the moments when it's like, okay, now read an article. You have 15 minutes, you can get through like, you know, some stuff, so. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to read up. I feel like people watching this are probably like, Taylor, you are so like silly. This is like, everybody does this. Or maybe you're like, I don't know. I feel like if you know me and you're watching this, you're probably like, wow, you are so weird. <laughs> I mean, hopefully you already know I'm weird. So a few tips if... Oh, the lighting is not very good. Let me move you. So a few tips that I found if you're kind of feel like you're new to regularly reading the news like I am is to one I took some time to just write down in a notebook what the some of the main categories are that that you could read up on so and what is in each category so for example on the Wall Street Journal here they have world US politics economy business tech markets opinion life and arts real estate and then the W then the magazine so I just kind of like went under each category and just kind of looked at what some of the types of articles would be to kind of get a sense of what you would be most interested in reading, what most applies to, you know, your situation for me. So like I like this business section here because I am really interested in what other companies are doing and startups and especially since I work in retail. So this is an article here about Facebook. Uh, tech companies, that sort of thing. So I just took some time and I feel like just kind of thinking back to like when you were studying, just taking notes, like writing it down once is like remembering it twice. So I just wrote down each category and then I put a few different topics that are in with the, within each category just to kind of get myself to remember. And then once I was in an article, I found that there are a lot of big words that I don't know. <laughs> so this is why I like to do it on a computer and to just set some time each day to just sit down maybe like 30 minutes or so, just like on a computer, whether it's in the morning or during your lunch break at work while you're eating your lunch at your desk or something. Maybe at the end of the day when you come home, whenever it is, just find 30 minutes in your day. And I would just, Every time I didn't know a new, like a big word, I would basically copy the word and then open up a new tab, 
right type in like define that word into google and just look up the word and then what i'm going to start doing is getting like flashcards now this is like really like getting into it but i'm really serious about this so it's like every time i look up a new big word that i don't know just writing it down what it is and what the description of that word is or the definition of that word is on the back of the note card and then just I don't know maybe at some time finding a point in time to do some flashcards and then just sprinkling those new big words in my when I'm talking to people and then they think I'm you know so smart I don't know it's just like really important to me these are the things that I think of on my birthday but like I said I'm getting older and I'm really trying to be that 30 flirty thriving you know well-rounded person so yeah, I just thought I'd share some silly but very useful tips. <laughs> Guys, you know what I feel like, or I just thought of is like, <laughs> I just said like too many times. That's another thing that I need to stop doing. But I just thought of, you know, the movie Legally Blonde when she is so frustrated that Warner offended her that, oh, she's just like blonde and she doesn't know anything. And then she's like, oh, I'm going to show him. And she goes into the library and she starts like studying and then she gets really good. That's going to be me. And I feel like that movie, I feel like it's such a joke, but there are some important messages in that movie. So... <laughs> much later now I filmed an entire video it is a holiday outfit lookbook which will be up on my channel later I cleaned up I did dishes <laughs> and now I am my boyfriend and I taking me out for a birthday dinner later so we're going to this place called Maria and it's a nice like Michelin star restaurant and so what always happens with me with these things is I look at the menu and I'm like oh this all sounds so good but like I don't know what any of it is and I don't want to be like googling every word so a little trick <laughs> if you're going to a nice restaurant is just to look at the menu ahead of time and just again google some things on the side and then when you get in there you are you're like oh and you just look at the menu and you're like oh this looks good and you want this and nobody nobody knows <laughs> So, well, you guys do know, but I think it's a good trick. So that's what I'm doing. So I am just, so I'm just looking at this menu here. It looks so, so, so good. I am actually very, very, very excited for this. So yeah, I'm just gonna look at like the menu, that sort of thing. Ooh, oh my gosh, that looks amazing, you guys. I'm so excited. I'll have to give you a full review after if you're coming to New York. Just to like, you know, let you know like what was good, what I loved. Ooh, oh my gosh, this all looks amazing. Alright, so apologies again for the quality. I'm still on my phone. But I am just now curling my hair because I am going to go to the mat and walk around. But and maybe grab something to eat quickly for lunch. But since I am going, to, going, I live in Brooklyn and I'm going to be going into Manhattan, I'm going to stay in Manhattan basically until dinner. So I'm kind of like trying to figure out an outfit that is good for day, but then also is gonna be nice for this fancy dinner. So no, I decided to go with black because I this place is really nice and I feel like black is always a safe bet. So I have this turtleneck that is, um, it has no sleeves. It's actually 55 degrees out today and I have been wearing sweaters and I've been so hot so I think I will be okay in this with this really cute tulle beige with a black polka dot skirt. Prop you guys up and do my hair.
voluminous. So just check the back. Yeah, cute. I am just going to put on a pearl headband just to oh, yeah, leave that piece in the front. Mm, no. Yay, birthday hair. <laughs> so yeah, I just popped in this pearl headband and left a few curly pieces out in the front, so. but it is so touristy, I totally forgot how busy it is. So it's just kind of frustrating. And plus on top of that, I was filming and one of those security guards told me that I can't use my uh, little mini tripod, which is really annoying. And apparently it's because people trip over those things, but people can trip over anything. So yeah, it's kind of annoying. But yeah, there's a lot of interesting art here and yeah, trying to make the most of it.